I'm trying to follow <laughs> where we brought this up. Child, this is what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm That's trying really to how I feel, on. cause y'all on some bull today. So hold, don't close that back up. Oh, give me some of that too. Hi, Dave. <laughs> I started with this. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. Um, National Wine Day. It is. Guys, where's not, life? Not in the, not in the champagne, yeah. flu, right? I, well, that's what I got. <laughs> that's, a, that's a booklet thing. You see what I'm saying? They got keep it ghetto. Keep it ghetto. <laughs> um, I was never from the ghetto. So. All right. We're just talking about drinking the champagne thing. You don't got to be mad now. Talk about my shirt. Talk about my shirt and all that. that. that I'm from Brooklyn, ho. Oh, now I'm a ho. I'm Damn. 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 I'll be your ho. Yeah, I'll be your whole girlfriend. Anyways. <laughs> she went to a private school that didn't teach about Texas. Oh, Lord. Oh, man. Anyways. I got my liquor license, too. You know what? Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck y'all. <laughs> I don't think that there was anything. Them. Not you. Marie, not you. Not you. Marie's <laughs> like, I'm in the crossfires. <laughs> Be in the crossfire, Marie. Good child. I don't Cheers. think that there was anything wrong with Charlotte. That's the wine day. Um, Okay. I feel like I'm pretty okay. I mean, you'll know. I don't know. This is, um, I don't know. When this is angry on this side. Mm. We've right. been chilling the whole time. All right. It's great. Solange. <laughs> Thank you. Beyonce, bitch. So I feel like I understood Charlemagne's message perfectly. Um, as a young child, they're very impressionable. So to say things like, oh, you only got one girlfriend is to encourage them to go out and have multiple girlfriends. So I feel like that's where you were going with the poly situation. But I feel like poly isn't introduced, especially to younger kids. Why? Because it's not. I feel like I, I feel like we, we're not really living in, in a society yet where poly is very mainstream. Well, it's here. Very a new idea. Here. And here. OK. I think this is where we live. Thank you. Well, okay. Appreciate it, Nathan. Oh, you're gonna have three boyfriends in your house. <laughs> the world is the is the world. My my main point was that the world I'm is not the same. I'm not saying that people ahead. don't know about it. I'm saying it's not mainstream. Maybe in a couple of years, yes, we do see it becoming more mainstream. But right now, it's not. I feel like parents are probably starting to introduce because, I mean, TV is starting to introduce to, like, younger shows, uh, LGBT, which, you know, we've talked about on this show, like, before. So it's like, now we have parents saying, okay, well, do you have a girlfriend yet or a boyfriend? Like, they'll probably slip that in because it's becoming more known in, like, our society. But Polly really isn't. So I feel like that's where you were going with that. But Charlemagne's message still stands. He's saying that, He's devoted himself to his wife and his life elevated ever, ever since. So it's just like to push that kind of narrative, to push that like be devoted to something. To mention like, oh, you only have one girlfriend. We, we really know what a parent is saying when they when they say that they're trying to be like, you know, be a player like, uh, you know, yeah, be more. popular, get, you know, get more. You got one girlfriend, like get another one. Like girls are pretty like, you know, do your thing. And that's really not what we should be teaching children. Because if you're not, like, introducing the idea of poly to them, saying, like, oh, well, if, you know, if to date one or more people, it, you know, you know but what you I'm know trying what? to say? But you know what, even if they do introduce Do so you know what poly, you're trying to say? <laughs> no, I know what does. I'm trying to say. <laughs> Go ahead. So even if they do introduce, even if they do introduce poly, that those people in their poly relationship still have to agree to be committed to that poly relationship. So if there's three of them or four of them, and then someone goes outside of that, now you still have a problem. So, th so the fundamentals are still the same, whether it's one man, one woman, one woman, one woman, whatever the, the, the makeup of the relationship is, you still have to be committed to it. And that's really the crux of the message that Charlemagne was giving. Exactly. I feel like Actually, I disagree. And that's not poly what? relationships is not something you're gonna find within children anyway. Wait, can so. I, <laughs> guys, let's like I hate when we do this, right? Nobody's listening to what he's actually what Charlemagne. Oh, actually, oh, you only heard what he's actually saying? Clearly. Oh, okay, go ahead. What Charlemagne actually said is he's never seen a guy mm -hmm. bounce back when he lost his family due to infidelity, right? So the real the real question is first and foremost. People, Amanda, have been devoting themselves to one person here for, what, 300 years? Have they really? 
two hundred four hundred years. <laughs> well, you get what I'm saying. Have they really? So, so, so what has happened is, if you really want to, let's actually do a, a real yeah, analysis. Yeah. People are yeah. now coming out the woodworks of being poly. Why? Because they devoted themselves and it didn't work out. They devoted themselves and they realized that one wasn't enough for them, or one was, or the one that they devoted themselves to wasn't the right one, right? So there's a bunch of different reasons on why people are now saying, let me actually be able to experience more than one partner. We've already been devoting ourselves. It has already been pushed, actually. It you is like a to be law. Poly? It's a law. Wait, hold on. You like to be poly? Yes. It is a law. In Duh. Amer- it's a law in America to only. It's a law mm-hmm. in America to only have one wife. So that is the only thing being pushed since you're born, right? So if we really said, hey, listen, as kids, Let's actually open up the doors of what type of relationships exist and are out there. And maybe we won't have infidelity because maybe. Yes, but with a different reasoning. But maybe if we have the if we actually have the the awareness of polys as an early age, there will be less infidelity because we will know where you stand when it comes to being married. Wait, or, and or having a family. Real quick, hold day, on. No, wait, Marie. It still goes back to being devoted to whatever your situation is, whether it's monogamy, whether it's polygamy, polyamory, whatever the fuck you want to say it is. But what is the infidelity no, but, reason? Can I, can I? Can I, Rico? Can she? I mean, can you can, she? as long as may you understand. I? Can, can I, may I? If may I may. If you don't mind. I, are you going to keep talking? or I, can I, I, I get three exhibits. I don't know. I just want to keep. I really just want to have have oh something to say. God. Exhibit A. I don't know. Who, all I want to do. <laughs> so this is the point. The point. Charlemagne talked about being devoted to something. Yeah. So what works He's for about him? Bouncing back. All right. So like, go ahead. Was oh. that really the message? I'm done. Bouncing I'm done. Back no, I'm, no, I'm actually done. No, I'm done. I love it. I don't, okay. Like done, done. Like two duns. I don't know. Can we play the video again? <laughs> hold on. I don't know. Like, like All right, hold on. Let me hear what Aaron, Aaron No, Aaron no, 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 no. She's done, done. She's done. I really am. Yeah, she's done. Because it's, it's actually disrespectful. Okay, listen. Love you it. guys, here's the thing. Exhibit C. <laughs> Rico. I'll be exhibit D at the point. <laughs> like, we can't pick and choose certain things, right? Like, here's the thing that happens, right? Everybody's like, we get a little tight when I don't want to get too political when you're talking about, oh, maybe like the trans community is going too far because they're like, they're like wanting all of this, all of this, all of this, right? A lot of acceptance. Then the poly movement comes in. You want all of this, all of this. I think people tend to pick and choose what works for them. And then you're going to pu- push whatever agenda works for you. So for a male narrative, it might work the polyamory situation, right? So you push that narrative. But we might get tight because they're teaching children about non-binary, trans people. But we get we get tight about it. What? Don't, bro, you just like you just broke my whole train of thought talking about the mic. God saved you. No, it's not. There's Rico. over a billion people who believe in a in a religion that is poly, Muslim. No. The, the, that's actually probably the biggest religion in all of the world. So it's not about getting tight. It's supposed to mean they're right. Alan, but it's, it's about I'm reality. What I'm trying to say is we pick and choose what works for us. You're passionate about being polyamory really? because No, it I'm works passionate for you. about the reality. No. And somebody who's like uh, non-binary is passionate about being non-binary. But they're not even the same. That's what I just. Well, there's one woman, two women, or three women. But that's what Aaron was saying. Aaron, Aaron was saying Charlemagne. It's not about being monogamous or being polyamorous. It's about devoting yourself what, to what. What you Charlemagne was saying. Once he decided whether he was in a monogamous relationship or a polyamorous situation. What he was saying, once he devoted himself to a relationship, whether that was two women or 15 women, it don't signify. Once he devoted himself to that relationship, it changed his life. That's all he was saying. Alan, please give me your phone. I don't even want... Just give me your phone, please. Give me your phone, Alan Sejos, please. 
That's uh, sad juice. <laughs> must be that, it must be that Indian bracelet please, you got on. Just please give me your <laughs> phone. <laughs> all right. So I want all the ladies here who have a hard time hearing to listen. Yet to see a man like ruin his family because of infidelity is insane. Boom. So what is he talking about? Wait, hold on, hold on. Slow oh, down. It's really quick. It's still the same wait, thing. Wait, 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 wait. Well, <laughs> I just want to make sure we understand something. We're on the same you, page. No, we're not. Where we are. I want, just listen. Exhibit A. No, you already did it. Exhibit she, a. If she's A, B, and C, how's she A? She got to be D. No, yeah. she's a different Probably person, different <laughs> subject. <laughs> Actually, the exhibits continue in the alphabet. So, it's a different it's subject. But wait, wait. So... And, and and I think Alan, I think it comes to a point where why are they dishonest though? But Aaron, but, but no 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 they're, they're not being you. honest. They're no, not telling the other I, person what they're doing. I'm just asking oh you guys God. a question. Why is someone being dishonest? If we had to ask, why does infidelity exist? Right? It's conditioning. What? Thank you. Say it again. It's a conditioning. Oh. Okay, so it so lack of self control, I believe. Dave, no, if didn't. you made a commitment literally with me, said that. right, and right. I'm under the impression. But, no, hold on, Alan. No, I'm on the damn mic, Alan. Hold on now. <laughs> she can hear herself. She getting high. I, 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 you I you, hear you sound like Amanda when right. we did another I'm episode sure. a while before. What I'm trying to say is if we make a commitment Marie, together, Marie, Marie, because Marie, Alan is I getting get me annoyed. Right. I like that. Like, if we make wait, a wait, commitment wait, together and we decide you? we're going to be in a okay. monogamous okay. situation, <laughs> that's the situation that we are moving forward in. Now, if you have a conversation with me before we get into this Thank you. relationship that I am a non-monogamous person. So we are going into this commitment with me knowing you are a non-monogamous person. So I will move accordingly with you. I make a decision based on that. That's the difference. Okay, Mar It's about communication. So Marie, if I marry hypothetically, we were to get married and we're both Catholic, and at some point in time, I realized Catholicism does not work for me, and I want to be Muslim. Okay. But Muslim doesn't fit with you. Okay. Now, me possibly not wanting to end my bond with you and practice Muslim secretly does not make me a liar. No, but, but well, hold talk on, hold to me makes you a liar. No, he's saying he doesn't want to do it secretly. No, no, talk no. I'm saying me. I don't want Thank to. You. I don't want to end <laughs> my relationship secretly. Does not make me a liar in so talk in to me. terms in terms of what Maybe I committed I to. <laughs> so talk to me. But what I'm saying is, it's not like. See, the thing is, everybody sits here and we think that talking to somebody is easy. See, my main thing is, I'm questioning why does infidelity exist? And we're trying to focus on knowing what you are before you get married. And realistically, nobody knows who they are before they get married and even during their marriage. No, some people do yeah, know, man. Not, not everybody. It, but, well, Rico, I mean, like, you don't Rico. know who you are forever, is what I'm saying. Like, you change, Rico. people change. Our, what I'm saying yeah, is like, that's not an out. That's not an right. out. I understand that you, okay, we we maybe we got married when I was 23 and you were 24. I get it. I understand what you're saying, but it's not an out. Like, it does not mean that you can't open your mouth and use your words. It's Thank not you. an out. Tell me and then let me make the decision and say, you know what? I don't want this. Uh, there's no transparency. You know, you know what? I want to practice Catholicism and you want to be... Islamic and that's cool and then we'll figure it out from there right. or this isn't going to work out but don't take my choice away from me because I'm not going to take the choice away she from you people don't want to have hard conversations <laughs> that's literally what it is like is that what it is like right? like why would you why why would you not if, if there's an issue in your relationship rather than have a a, a uh, a difficult, uh, uncomfortable conversation, you rather just go do what you want to do. You know, and that, that takes away that person's decision, their, their, their ability to make a choice for themselves. Because you may say, hey, this is what I want. I've grown into this particular person, X, Y, and Z. Let them, like, like don't take away their decision. Let them say, you know what? Okay, yes, I accept it, and we can figure it out from here. Or they say, you know what? I'm not really fucking with it. Do what you got to do. Like, I, I, I really, 
I don't know what it is, but it's a fear that that's people, a personal problem, though. People do not understand like the importance of like being honest with people, like because to take away somebody's choice is to take away like their autonomy. You know what I mean? Just imagine like somebody wake up you you. 45 years old, but somebody, you wake up every day and from now on, somebody else making decisions for you. It's called the government. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And that's monogamy. Religion. That's monogamy. No one's talking the about government monogamy. government is monogamy. No, and, and I, 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 so, Wait, wait. So if you're not built for a hard conversation, that means you take away somebody else's autonomy. And, and, that's and, what they're doing. Choice. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. So just because you lack a skill... Right. Does that mean that you take away else somebody well, else's de decision? People do that. People do that through ignorance. That's no, what's I agree, happening. But yeah. I don't. But... Okay, go ahead. Yeah. It's like an onion. Am I gonna start to cry? Blooming onion. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to fight that. I hate y'all. <laughs> you think I'm a bully, Amanda? Yeah. I'm not a bully. If you want to fight, you're kind of like a bully. Yes, 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 yes. Choose, choose better. Oh, not every woman's a bully. Wait, See, that's oh, wait, that's an unfair statement. Hold on, Aaron, choose better, right? You didn't the even thing. have a mic for any of you're that. No, he that's fine. That's fine. It, he, no, I think it's right yeah, there. Right there. That's fine. That's oh, fine. can you hear? Well, I was hoping you didn't because everyone just heard you say that. That every woman. Pull the mic down, yeah. son. <laughs> well, the thing is, the thing. Oh. You almost got saved. All right, Aaron. Aaron. I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I really. I don't. I don't care about men viewing women as bullies. Like men have this persona, right? The persona of like I'm a man. Like you should submit to me X, Y, and Z. Like I provide and protect. I'm the head of my house. Now, if you're the head of this household, you're telling me that you lack the words, the maturity, and the ability to have a a simple conversation, but you want me to respect you as the head of this household? Well, well, how, how does that? How does that even make sense? I, I I don't understand. And at the end of the day, whether you don't have the skills to have a conversation, don't take away my choice. Don't take away my decision, because I want to know. Let me know. And I know a lot of men say women don't want to know the truth. No, I. I want, and a lot of women say that they want to know the truth. I want to know the truth so that I, and, and again, I am, only, I, I am only speaking for Aaron Campbell, please. Not, not the full name. Yeah. No, she always please. does that. Okay. I'm only speaking you know for Aaron Campbell. Is. I want the you truth because, you're right, because I Aaron want. Aaron T. Campbell? Yes. Oh, there you go. I want to be able to make my own decision because if I make a decision based on what you've told me, then there's nothing I can say going forward. I can't complain. I can't be on your ass. I can't, I, I can't, you know, like... Sound the real Southern right leave, now. Well, you saying that. I can't, like, leave because X, Y, and Z because I've already agreed to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And if, and if at some point I've agreed to it and I want to change direction, then I need to have a conversation with you. But at the end of the day, don't take away my choice. 